Yeah, practices this year have been off to a great start. Uh, one of the program goals has, that we set a few years ago, entering the third year, was to uh, build roster depth, uh, increase competition in the room, and ultimately um, have guys, you know, uh, not be given a starting spot and have to, to work and attain and, and maintain that position. So we're off to a great start. Have a few bumps and bruises like any team at this point in the year, uh, but overall uh, doing really well at this point. Okay, so we've been wrestling for about a month. Uh, there's a, it's a week before competition. Um, this year specifically, I've seen a very good mentality in our team. Uh, a lot of smiles on the guys' faces. Uh, we all actually want to come to practice. We all want to get better. Um, we're really looking forward to uh, the first tournament. Um, and, and we're, we're just, you know, shaken to get that first match. Uh, yeah, preseason's pre been going pretty well so far. We've had a couple guys battling injuries. We've uh, had some issues with some guys being out in the room, but everyone who's been here, we've had a really good uh, couple of weeks going on week number four or so. Uh, definitely been getting good sweat in, getting a lot of good technique in, wrestling hard. Um, guys are definitely improving, I think, getting back into the shape from uh, the off season, and I'm really looking forward to uh, a good year on the mat. The, one of the nice things about having a young team is that we return a lot of uh, experience. So our heavyweight, Grant Coakley, um, was a team leader in wins last year, finished right near 500. Uh, Ron Tassoni was right there at the end of the year. Um, Zach Ritchie has gone up actually a couple weight classes, and I think he, um, you know, based on last year's record and what he can do this year, going up two weight classes uh, may surprise a lot of people. And then the incoming freshmen, um, they've came in and got after it right away. So everyone, it's been uh, a, a very good, intense, competitive room. Uh, a guy that came in, um, I would say maybe Andrew Donchez, not the most heralded uh, person coming out of high school, but in week one to week three, the guy's just uh, been a workhorse and uh, his drill partner, Mike Rogers, uh, just missed the state tournament in Pennsylvania. He's gonna, um, he can do extremely well. And then we have some other ones that, you know, maybe more heralded uh, credential wise, but uh, I think those two, um, we're hoping big things come out of. I think everyone's gonna impress people. We've all been working hard in here. Everyone gives it their all every day. We've had a lot of really good freshman talent who have really impressed me this year. All the guys have been coming out, Mike Rogers, Alex Neiman, all those guys. Uh, Bennett Lewis, especially my wrestling partner, I've been working with him every day. Uh, he's been doing a really good job coming in as a freshman at a, at a bigger weight, which is usually pretty hard. But uh, he's, he's definitely coming in, he's, he's, got a good, he's in good shape, he's a good wrestler, and uh, I'm really excited to see what he can do, especially uh, to uh, coming in at 197. So, yeah. To achieve our goals this year, uh, we'll have to do a couple things. First, um, you know, stay healthy. Um, ultimately, we don't have any control over that situation. Um, but what we have control over, uh, just every day, um, have a positive attitude, bring a good work ethic. Um, and, and ultimately, the goal is everyone singular focus on, uh, you know, placing at the conference championship. Next week's moving on to the NCAA regional championships, uh, placing top three. Um, or top six for academic All-American status and eventually going to the NCAA tournament. Um, and no matter who it is, I think we all, we all train for the same reason. Um, so, you know, ultimately, uh, that's the goal. So one of the program goals was to get more home matches on our campus. Uh, we've done that with uh, bringing some pretty high quality competition and George Mason Division One team will be on our campus. Uh, this season. We've also brought in a team from Indiana, uh, Ohio Northern University, which is uh, always in the top 15, top 20. They again will come down here. And then of course we have our, our Centennial Conference matches. Um, but ultimately the goal is to have more non-conference matches on home, which we added two additional ones, so I was pleased with that. Yeah, I'm excited to have a few more home matches this year. I think last year we only had two. So hopefully we can get some support here and a lot of our friends will be able to come to these matches. It, also draining to travel all the time, so it's nice just to be able to set up, have weigh-ins and relax instead of worrying about traveling from the hotel to the match. And just we get to hang out here and hopefully have some support. Um, yeah, we got a really 
pretty good schedule again this year. Tougher, uh, not going to the Hokie Open, which we went to last year, which was uh, D1 teams. But other than that, uh, we got Russell and George Mason again, which is a D1 team. Going up to Washington Jefferson, first term of the year. A lot of good teams up there. Going up to Rhode Island, classic. And then, of course, we get into after Christmas break, we get into a Centennial Conference wrestling. And lots of good teams in there, obviously. So every week, it's it's going out there. And you got you to gotta be out there working, your, wrestling your best because those guys out there, they know how to wrestle and, and they'll just they'll beat on you if you don't if you're not ready to go. So you have to be ready to go, definitely. Looking at uh, the other teams and what they have returning and where they finished last year and where we finished last year, I really wouldn't expect them to pick us any different. Um, you know, but we're not the same team as we were last year. Um, ultimately, we have to show up on that day and prove them wrong. But. Uh, you know, I think we're all just internally motivated and, and uh, we're just kind of competing against ourselves right now and every single day, uh, working hard to get to get better. Um, yeah, ultimately, I'd say that, you know, based on what they had to pick it on, they picked it right.